How does it operate? Well, it's very physical. What you do not do is walk in two minutes before you want to go drive away. You do not walk in, turn the key, and away you go. But if you wanted to start at 10 o'clock, by half past six, seven o'clock, you'll be actually lighting the fire. But before you light the fire, health and safety regulations, you always check that the water gauges in the boiler work all right, so you're not going to blow yourself up, and the boiler is forced full of water. If you don't do that, something very expensive and unfortunate could happen. Well, Sylvia is a basic agricultural engine, which meant that the primary function really was for driving a threshing machine. It was a hive of activity, a really exciting event with big steaming thing, bright and colourful, noisy, clanking, clattering. And then it went into a farmer's field and it set up to the threshing drum. And this magical thing happened. They put belts on it and it all went round. And you put your sheaves of corn in the top of the threshing drum and the corn came out one end and the straw came out the other and there you had your threshed crop. Most people brought in extra labour for threshing time, so local folk from the village, the whole family could be involved because you needed a dozen people, really, to get through a good day's threshing. So you had the engineman and his crew looking after the engine itself, then you'd probably have somebody, maybe with a horse and cart, bringing water to the engine which was a very important task. And then you'd have somebody taking the filled sacks of grain away into the stackyard, up the ladder sometimes, into the granary. Then you'd got people who were dealing with the chaff that came out the other end, and the straw would go onto an elevator, and then it would be stacked in another part of the farmyard for future uses, bedding and so on for the stock. 